Nice. <laughs> In 2016, I started looking at the infrastructure and mechanisms that are being used to cultivate celebrity in social media. Just like y'all all day in a pack of crackers, which I'm not. I gravitated towards three main nodes. First, thinking about the profile pic as the site of performance. <laughs> Second, the need to feed the beast of social media every day, one pick a day, each pick better than the last. Um, and that's it, I just wanted to say hi, I feel like I haven't been on here in a while. And third, the global outsourcing economies that are developing to feed this beast with websites like Freelancer and Fiverr, where you can have images retouched and videos edited for $5. So I took 400 photographs of myself in front of a green screen and hired freelance retouchers from around the world to make me new profile pictures. With the instructions, make me look amazing and my life look awesome. The retouchers then photoshopped images of me with images they found from the internet to digitally construct my new profile pics. These altered pictures have no correlation with my own identity, but instead reflect the retoucher's view of Western social ideals specific to a straight white American man. Hey, Stella! My retouchers were located in every corner of the globe, and it became amazing and horrifying to see image after image of white man as hetero businessman and bro. Just ride the barrel and get pitted, so pitted. For 365 days, I posted a new image as my Facebook profile pic and my daily Instagram image. For each of these images, I included the hashtag 365 profile pics, caption this, and captions please, as a call to the internet to caption the images. I wanted to see how the hive mind of social media thought through these photographs. Damn, Daniel. The retoucher's projections of heteronormativity into my queer body were frequently undermined by my friends and followers who reclaimed me as queer through their comments, immediately undermining the idea of hetero equals awesome. And I know who it's coming from because I've backtraced it. For my solo project with Denny Gallery during Spring Break Art Show, I created a 52 by 9 foot wallpaper with all 365 photographs, a catalog, and an augmented reality iPhone app. The Photo Art Star app, which can be downloaded for free from the iTunes store, allowed viewers to point their iPhone's camera at the wallpaper or book and see all of the Instagram comments and likes each image received. Does it feel good? Ah. Viewers could then push the Instagram button at the top right corner of the app and the viewer's Instagram would open to that exact image and allow them to comment on it. These comments immediately go live for anyone else using the app, connecting all the versions of the work like hyperlinks. So someone on Instagram can comment on an image and change a work thousands of miles away, years after the exhibition. And the work is never orphaned from its original point of creation. It's always a conversation in digital space.